We lured him in with the offer of free coffee this morning. Thanks <laughs> for delicious. being here. Uh, what are your big three takeaways for the local races? You bet. Well, last night, Republicans held all three bodies in the New Hampshire legislature. Yeah. This morning, Democrats have that control. Secondly, there are so many new faces. Not just heading for leadership, a new speaker and a new Senate president, but a lot of new faces elected to the legislature for the first time. And the third, we have 424 statewide races. A lot of them were photo finishes. We have a lot of recounts to go through. So the New Hampshire House going blue, were you surprised by this? I was surprised, yes. I think um, the margin of victory was a big one. And let's start in the Senate. Yeah. As of last night, 14 Republicans in the majority. Now they're looking at 13 to 11 conservatively, Sean. There were a few really close finishes. This could be 14-10 Democrat by the time we're done. And over in the House, to the House there, that's yeah. right. If you're looking at the House numbers right now, what you're seeing is as of last night, Republicans had about a, 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 a 230 to 160 uh, majority. Yep. Now it's looking like it's about a 220 to 180 Democrats being in charge of the New Hampshire House. A big flip. And then the Executive Council looks like it's Democrats three to two. So right there. Now in the corner office though remains Republican. How does Governor Sununu get things done? That's such a good question. He's going to have to do what John Lynch did before him, what Maggie Hassan did before him, and what Gene Shaheen had to do, which is be the sole representative of your, of your party when the State House is represented by completely the other side. He's going to have to find ways to negotiate with Democrats on the council, meaning judicial appointments, and in the legislature because now the Democrats have to approve everything he wants to do in Concord. All right, Scott Bradley, we'll check in with you in about another half hour.